Okay, welcome. I want to say welcome everybody to a good video. Hopefully you'll enjoy this video. Uh, I'm showing you some of my methods. Okay, I'm going to show you some of my methods for cr creating animation uh, in terms of any animation movement like figure humans, you know, figure figures, people moving around. Uh, let's say it could be fighting, action, martial arts or whatever. Bearing in mind to understand the motions of martial arts and how you're going to choreograph such action, you're going to really need to understand that. Like, um, I know there's people out there that make great action shows and just incredible stuff that have probably not even studied martial arts in real life. But for me, I have. I'm a martial artist. My whole life, I've been studying martial arts, so I've looked into that. Plus, I've been so into like martial art movies and stuff, so I've been very fascinated with movies and the choreography and too. But actually, knowing the skills and knowing the martial arts is what you just have to, you know. Uh, bear with me, okay? I think the um, something just happened. Hold on one second. Sorry, okay. The camera just cut out, and I had to. And I, I was speaking to you for a long time just then, but sadly, I, I lost some of the recording. I was just, I was just making a recording for you, and I need to repeat myself now because the sound didn't record. Basically, what you're looking at here is um, a sketch. Now, there are different ways you can do animation. You can do it more simple, or you can do it with more frames. Uh, there are different ways you can sketch characters and figures and then what you can do is you can trace on top and like, do very nice artwork to good quality but what, what you're looking at here is like I've done a wavy line here on the on the ground I've drawn this wavy line and that was supposed to be like for me like a rough plan for like um, how the characters are going to step and move along this path of movement so to speak so I will know where they're standing we've got other guidelines here showing the height of the characters uh, uh, moving out into the distance there with the horizon line getting getting smaller as they go we've got some vertical lines got two horizontal lines and we've got this wavy line here uh, you could put points on that if you'd want to you could even use a photo you could use any images and get some idea of where the characters are standing and how they're going to move around so this was like a kind of guide set up for me um, yeah, and um, yeah, as I was saying, with martial arts, though, obviously, with martial arts, it's better that you know some real martial arts. But obviously, if you've got a good imagination, you can create all kinds of action. If you'll bear with me for one second, if you're sorry, if you'll bear with me, if you'll bear with me for one second, please excuse me. I'm having difficulties with my sound recording here for some reason so please bear with me okay uh, but what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to try and attempt to record the screen and show you some uh, um, examples of how I do this so I'm going to go here um, and let's just set one up okay so okay um, I'm going to try and make a setup and see if I can do a little quick animation here just using sketches I won't go over and do like proper animation your proper movements and stuff but if I wanted to I could start with a photo I could have a photo here in the background or some kind of drawing like some scenery let's practice I did I could draw a path of movement along that so you know to guide help me guide myself you know to see the action and where it's going to go in fact I could still do that even now so if I do that well, I won't I won't do that now what I'm gonna do is uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do some rough lines see what we can come up with what we can come up with um, so just doing some lines here this is crazy though just doing, you, could do, you could do any kind of lines you want to do you really could I'm gonna do it like this Okay, I'm going to do it like this, okay? I'm really going to do it like this. And what I'm going to do is below it, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to do like uh, some kind of box or something here. You get the idea, watch. This is a, a box, okay? Just pretend that's a box, okay, here. Okay, so let's go like that's a box, okay? And they're going to go and step up on this box. 
the box and they're going to walk around here. This is going to be a, a tree, let's say a, a tree here. I'm going to actually put some scenery in, literally. <laughs> you know? Why not, you know what I mean? And I'm going to do that, I'm going to, I'm going to put them down. I think what we'll do actually is we'll have it like a proper colour too. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a red box. No, I'm going to have a just just a grey, but I mean like a solid colour though, you know. A solid colour. So that we can see that they're moving behind it. That's, that's the reason I'm saying that. Um, and we've got this path here, okay. I'm going to have that pretty faint, uh, just so you get the idea, and we're going to have that, okay. Obviously if it was a real animation, I would draw, um, more, like I'd have the objects in front of them and stuff like that. Okay, let's get on with this, okay, so we're going to go on the next layer, I'm going to just keep it like this, it's one layer. I'm going to go on top, we're going to make some movements, okay. Um, view onion skin mode, it's got to be onion skin mode um, turn it so the first always display the first frame ok we're going to put it on the low opacity though so we can just about see where we're going we're going to follow that path so I'm going to go over black follow that path I'm going to go over black ok and just start following that path so I'm going to do some people one guy's um, Let's see, we're going to have two guys here standing. Okay, so one guy is going to be literally... I've got my certain ways of like drawing characters, as I say, so random here, you know. But this guy is standing here. Okay, he's, he's just standing by the thing. Another guy up here, you know. <laughs> On here, see? Go to another layer. No. I'm going to have it so that he is going up here and he's just stepping up onto this, let's say. He's like making his way up, you know. And this guy is here just watching, he's like, what the heck is he doing? You know, um, I'm just making it up as I go here, it's just crazy. Okay. I'm going to make this guy. I guess we've done this wrong. I guess I should have done it a different way. He's gonna kick the guy off. He's gonna He's gonna kick the guy off is what's gonna happen. He's gonna go up here. He's gonna come jumping in, okay? He's lifting his leg up here. That leg's bending. Other arms back there, his head's there. Guys up here, I didn't even need to, I could just copy and paste the guy, but he's not moving. Next layer, okay. Another layer. Um, okay, he's gonna just go up here now. And that, he just kicked the guy in the nuts, basically. Okay, so there, that's there. Oh, God, man, hold on. Oh, damn, hold on. So, yeah, he's like, he's gone there proper side kick the guy in the nuts you know this guy's definitely going down now you know boom okay boom okay it goes to the next layer two arms there okay that leg's gone behind there He's going to like try and make his way up there now. Somehow or another. <laughs> I'm thinking how that guy is going to get up there from here. Okay, okay, I know, I know. He's going to go around here. He's going to reach around this side. Okay, he's going to go over here. Okay, next frame. See how I'm just like making, literally making stick figures. 
and then what you do is you draw you know you draw proper art on top of that you know this is what you do oh excuse me see how simple it is that see He's going to go here. Now I could have them literally walk around that tree over there. You know. Okay, he's going to come flying in. Okay, he's going to come running in now. Excuse me. On this one. He's going to come running in. Now he's just so pissed off, this guy. He's just going to turn around. He's like going to start running away. <laughs> okay. He's going to come running in. running in and come running away this one's going to start running away you know maybe he's going to just I don't even know he's just going to jump up that tree maybe he's reaching for him now <laughs> jumps up you know he stops in his tracks he goes up onto the thing you know he just turned I guess from here face will be about there oh excuse me he's gonna go here Obviously, you can see the art's got much more simpler now. But he's just holding up on that tree, you see. And he's just, he's just waiting for him at the bottom. I think I'm just going to have that. I'm not going to have him walk all the way around here. I'm not going to bother doing that. But let's just watch it back and we'll see what we've got, okay? So there we go, put it in a, in a higher rate. So you see we've got the motion. <laughs> we've got what's going on here. And you can do any kind of action you want to have, you know, if you've got more patience. So now what I'm going to say is, um, what you do then is, in this, okay, we're in, as I say, fire alpaca. I'd record the screen literally like this, I'd record and cut a piece out and save it as a, a video clip and then I'd put it into um, with good art and I'd put it into um, a video video editing software and I'd put multiple clips together and I would add sound effects for the punches and kicks, I would add music and everything and voiceovers and make up a proper movie, you know. It's either this way, which I prefer or um, doing through different softwares you can use Critter and you can also export I think you can export animation from that too Critter um, the new version of Manga Studio 2 I think can also do it got things like TV paint animation um, pencil which is not great but you've got other things um, what can do animation GIFs um, my paint no, uh, so no, no real world paint um, I was going to say um, Anime Studio, it's called Moho now, but Anime Studio is another one. But yeah, let's just check out this one and say, okay, look, from here though, what you're going to do is you want to have these pauses. So he's, first of all, they're just standing there. And you can adjust the speed of the um, playback to like the frames per second. I've just duplicated a load of these first, this first layer to make sure they're standing there for quite a while looking. And then the guy kicks up. As soon as he kicks up, we want that to hit for a few seconds, like bam. Not just flow straight through. We want the apart we want the we want the viewer to actually see when he's actually striking. Like, so I'm duplicating a few of those hits there. A few. 
they're going to go across, she flies over, boom! And then from here we're going to stop. So I'm adding duplicates of that layer, clicking get 6, 8, 12, whatever I want, 20. And then from here he starts running around. And I think from here would be a good place to... Um, Look, the next one he jumps, so from here we can like get him ready to launch. So I'm just duplicating that, clicking duplicate in the corner here, bottom right for the layer. He jumps up, oh, and from here we're going to just duplicate that up a lot of times. That last one now, when it plays, it will play in a loop, but you know, but what you do is you just cut off what parts you don't want, you don't have it in your video clip once you've recorded the screen with a screen recorder and then put the video into a video software as I say. The other way of doing this is to go to their, through their website, it, it gives you a um, like if you wanna, once you can like, export these out as frames, um, go batch export and it exports all the frames and then what you can do is you bring them back in and just draw over them. But you've got it in onion mode, onion skin mode when, you, when you're doing animation like this, you have to have it set in that by going to view. Uh, by not having that, you just have it like uh, normal, um, just mode, you know, you can go between both. And if you want to just work on layers normally, like doing proper artwork over your sketches, then don't forget to turn off, you know, this mode, onion skin mode. Only use onion skin mode when you're actually doing the basic setting up of the animation like this. And to get that background visible, remember what you need to do is set it also under view here. Not only set onion skin mode, but also set display next frame and previous frame, you want, you want that on and you also want display, always display the first frame what that's going to do though is it's usually going to keep it like, it's going to make it full opacity and that's going to like full visibility I mean, you can see here the background I've got like half opacity like semi transparent the reason is because it's going to be hard to see what you're doing otherwise but don't worry when you actually save the actual images out or save it you know whatever way you know now um if you don't want to have the background in the end, if you're just using this as a rough thing, you can always delete it um, and then just explore them out, you know, and turn that view off if I was you later on, turn it off. But um, whatever though, it doesn't matter, whatever, you know what I mean? Make duplicates of it and then put them in. I'll show you in a moment. Go between the different modes. And as I say, I mean, it's got the option on here also of like exporting a GIF, but you have to like put it through their website so I find that fussy. I don't mess I don't mess with GIFs anyway, I work with proper video clips and stuff. That's what I like to do. So now we're gonna try it, we're gonna give a few more duplicates on that first action layer. Not the background layer, but um okay. When you're working in onion skin mode, you're working with like frames, not layers. The layers become frames basically. So I'm making pauses in between here so that you're stopping rather than just flowing straight through by duplicating layers to kind of give pauses in between here, like longer lengths on the same images shown on the screen. Now let's go to view and go to autoplay. Watch this back. It will load up a bit slow the first time but you let it play through a few times on loop and it will um, speed up don't worry if it's a bit jumpy at first okay and then you can go to this I said the frames per second we're currently set to six frames per second we can set it to 30 as a maximum there you see now okay you, got, you can see what's going on here but wait for this to load up if you've got patience you can do some nice sketching so let, let's just set it to a faster one I'm going to set it to um, whatever man 12 I'll set it to 10 set it to 10 first might take a while to load up. Hold on while we're waiting for it to load up. Damn thing. So you're waiting, you're waiting to fight the guy. <laughs> but he kicks him. He's coming after him. Zoom. <laughs> Bit too fast, I think. Yeah. Zoom. Bam. See. Boom. See, once you got when you got like, the actual when you got the sound effects playing and everything, everything, you know, it'll be cool. You know, when you can like edit it. Put some sound effects in, screen shaking, in video editing software. I would recommend good video softwares. Um, the video editing softwares that I've got, I've got Hit Film on my computer. Hit Film is a great, free, powerful, very powerful, good video editing software. There are um, other ones out there that you can look at. 
like Da Vinci Resolve and other ones like that. There's another one I forgot the name of it now, another good one. But um, I've got Vegas Pro, Sony Vegas. But you know, um, as I say, Hit Film's a good one though, free and it's very, very good. I've got hot, um, I've got like basic stuff like Windows Movie Maker and um, Shotcut is another good one. Um, I was going to say another one, what's the other one? Shit. But yeah, there's quite a few, you know, but, um, you know, Vegas Pro is great, but then again, so is Thingy, you know, yeah, um, yeah, Hit Film, yeah. Uh, you know, hit film is really good and that, so you can like screen shakes, effects, you know, zooming the camera in, having mist and lightning and all kinds of stuff, and you can do that in good artwork, not scribble sketches like this, like proper good art, you know. And, um, you know what I mean? So, so it might not look too good now, like the way I've got it, where like, you know, <laughs> but when you have like the sound effects added. And the push, push, when they're hitting and, and the screen shaking, like different camera angles and then and then close ups and lots of different fighting moves and like different shots. Like the next shot, maybe close up. Let's say he's running to a car, he gets in the car. You're know, making the story. You know what I mean? You can do some real good stuff. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to in the next part of this video right now. I'm going to show you how I would sketch a figure or some ways how I'd sketch a figure. Okay, a figure. Um, you can see, as I said, before we can leave this though, before we scrap this, I'm going to just say you can see how we got this tree here. You can imagine him running around the tree or going anywhere, you know. And I'm going to show, like, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a. Um, oh, I could just find a photo online, but rather than mess around like that, I'm just going to just do a quick scene or something, just very quick, and just, just put something together for you. So let's let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. Okay. So, you see how simple these characters are, and I'm going to just start from this kind of a method, then I'm going to show you something, okay? Let's turn this off. Okay. Okay, so we're here in Fire Alpaca, but for this kind of sketching, it doesn't matter what software you're on, okay? I mean, you could even, um, you could even, as I say, just, uh, use paper and pen <laughs> to practice sketching, I'm saying. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little scene. Um, I don't see the hardest thing is like thinking of the scene too. What kind of scenes you want? Um, all right, heck, screw it. I'm just going to do like a. I don't even know. <laughs> you know what? I don't even know what kind of a scene. Um, let's just have it like this. Just have it like okay. Let's have it like some crazy train station okay it's like some kind of crazy subway station or something he's like in a subway station here some crazy stuff you know <laughs> I love this stuff so it's like a subway station you know see how I'm just sketching that in these really really simple little steps there it doesn't matter too much you know this is the escalator you know here on this side it's supposed to be the escalator you know um, even put some people on there. Wow, it's like I'm creating the next Street Fighter scene or something. You know, people there on, on there on the thing, okay. The bars there. <laughs> okay, I think we show it like that. Actually, the top should be about there. That's like way too high anyway, so we're gonna have a red eraser. Otherwise they're gonna go through the ceiling, man. You can see, this is what I'm saying. You need to understand your like your perspective and stuff. So I'll be there, so their heads can go through. Get it? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Okay. So we just, it doesn't have to be perfect anyway, you know. But you know, I'm just like making it here just so they can get through. You know. <laughs> whatever. 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 It doesn't matter. Okay. That's like that. That's that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Got some sort of big clocks and stuff up here and stuff. You got these, these doors, you know. So maybe it's like a shopping mall or something. I, I want to make it like some funky, you know, um, what do you call that? Um, subway, you know. Um, so this goes on down here. Obviously, it's a subway station. You got the idea. Underground. Okay. I don't know if we can have it like 
uh, you know, just like a bit of style to it. Uh, even have a train in the back there, train, you know, the doors and stuff, the windows. It doesn't matter too much, you know, right in there. Okay, someone's luggage is there. What's inside, who knows, you know, who knows. Some luggage in there, see, I want luggage. I'm going to make this really faint, okay? Really, really faint. And, uh, have some fun. So, I'm going to make a darker version. No, hang on. Make a darker version. I'm not trying to turn this into a piece of art, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to do it like rough, just to show you. Um, I'm a Nick. I'm okay. I'll be fine. <laughs> Motherfucking man, old boy. So I'm putting a bit of a light there. Really got the feel now. It really feels like we're in the subway almost. Look, see? <laughs> just like a sketch like that, you see. Just a sketch like that. Lighter up there, maybe. Just certain areas. Yeah, when you start adding light and dark shading, it like, God, it makes it feel like a real world. Because the real world, everything we see is just made out of gradual light differences is what we're really looking at you know that's what we're really looking at and um, yeah and it just affects things with the colors and everything so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a darker one you'll see in a moment okay going in with a hard eraser just quickly hard edge eraser make the ground Darker or the steps, I don't know. Make the ground darker, I think. So I'm just making it a little bit of a painting as such so you can see what we are doing, you know. I love it when you do that, just cut a big area out like that. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I think what we're going to really need to do is. Uh, do the fuck hold? No, no, what's the what we really need to do is uh, do a few things. I'm not gonna do this here. What are you talking about, man? A few things, you things. So that should be like darker down there as well. It's like lighter above, maybe there's lights and stuff. Okay, you know, on the, on the upper layer up there. It's darker down here for some reason. <laughs> Don't worry, we're having some fun. Said, uh, said the doctor to the nurse. <laughs> One of my dad's jokes. Style. Um, okay. So I'm gonna go in here. Let me check my recording time quickly. Just playing with the darks and the lights. You know, see, keeping it real, keeping it real with the darks and the lights. You know what it is. I'm gonna turn off the lights. Joking, um, there's shading in there, so I love it when you can just do some, some good air shit, you know what I'm saying? Put some marking up there, we don't know what that is up there, but it's just a bit of fun. So we're putting some now, yeah, gradual with that, um, with the opacity. Certain things we're leaving, like the sign there, see, so whatever it is. Yeah, but I'm gonna shade these in. Nuts, no, no, shading, shading, <laughs> shading, <laughs> shading there, these is. Well, gradual opacity there, so that's good. Um, you know, there's certain things here. On the doors. Okay, it's all coming in. It's all coming in. You just can't stand this. Just making up some crap. Yeah, very low opacity. We go over and do a bit of reflection like this type, make it shiny because it is glass, you know. That's glass there. Yeah. A darker train on the inside. We don't need to see too many details of it. However, we could do a couple of windows just quickly there, just shine a little bit like there's windows in there, you know. There's the doors where you know. Actually, if you want to be exact about it, you know, I could make that darker in there as well. You know, like behind the train, like you know, in here, it could be darker. But you know, like behind the 
try and just show in there. Yeah, just rough like that, you know. Oh, that looks good. Okay. And then uh, we're doing it like a proper scene now, aren't we? That's crazy. I love it when you just mess with the contrast and you get this stuff. Okay, so let's go, go, go. Bright, bright, bright. A few more marks, just picking a few colours off here, holding it all on the keyboard. Could go to another layer if I wanted to. I'm not going to do it though. Just go in. Low opacity brush, just carefully doing a few marks on the floor. I think sometimes they have like arrows and pointers for the people to know where they're going to, don't they? They are, they do. Just a few sketchy like lines, you know. Fit following the um, perspective as well, see as I say, you know. Thinking about that, the lines of where things would be if there if there were any. Things. Now, a couple of lines, we can hold um, the arrow just really quickly, shift on the keyboard and just get to get a straight line there. Just doing some line there, you know those safety line things they have. You know the ones there, which I'm sure you've seen them before. Oh, they're speaking a perfectly beautiful British accent. You know the ones, the ones, the ones that pass you by every day at the train station, don't say a fucking word. Little bastards, little bastards, little bastards. Again, it's not too late either. I could do like a few things here. I should sure do Do a little thing here, like here, like a little sign or something. You see that? Be a shadow behind it anyway. Kind of things like that, you know. Things like that. Bit of shading on here on the window still. See things like that. See. We're getting, we're getting a real deal going on. And I'm really, really, I'm really, really sorry. The, the recording just cut out, but I just done a heck of a heck load of um, um, shading and stuff there, you know, to get this, okay, looking like our subway scene. Now um, what I'm going to do next is, um, uh, I'm going to play around with a bit of uh, a bit of this and that, you know. I'm going to put make this one with a tone curve, play with a tone curve a bit. The tone curve, you know what I'm saying? Don't mess with that tone curve, man. Now I'm going to go over here with the eraser, soft eraser and start blowing this shit up, you know what I'm saying? Glow the fuck out of that shit man. Blow it up, bro. Glow it up, don't blow it up, you know what I'm saying? Crazy ass shit right here man. Yeah man, so I'll put some shading on there. I find all this stuff that like, adds to the, to the effect. The effect of the illusion and the illusion of the effect. Going to blur. We're going to make it a bit of a blur anyway later on. Probably. We'll see how we go. Blur it out a little bit like that. Make it more realistic. You know? Real. Are you real? 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 Now I'm going to go to um, levels. Play with that. Play with that bitch. I'm going to play with this bitch for real. In privacy my own goddamn life. Keep it like that. That looks okay. And now I'm going to go on top of that. And I'm gonna go with a colour. I'm gonna I don't know what colour yet. I just have like a dark greenish I don't know blue a blue and a yellow. Yeah, make it green, don't it? Don't to multiply. You see give that kind of light, right? you know I mean? Lower opacity, you don't need it full on like that. You, know, you can do colour also, hold on. Colour. If you wanted to have it on colour, you can have it on colour. Add colour be pretty good. Where's that? The colour, see? But I don't want to have it on colour, I want to have it on multiply. Merge that down and then go to um, the brightness. Like that. Just something like. I mean, first of all, we're going to go with the colour, hue, and then saturation. You might say, what's the difference? But there is a difference. Um, go to um, brightness. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is just go over the top with a very soft spray. We've actually turned this into an actual thing now. I can't believe it. It's background. It better be good animation then. <laughs> uh, we'll see though. I'm going to paint on another layer across black. 
just to darken that area because it's a bit too bright I think it doesn't balance out enough well enough you see and then from here a few things so just balancing it out you could do it like a little bit lighter to see the opacity is a great tool where's that down now I'm gonna now I'm gonna go with the tone curve you play around with the tone curve and the levels levels or tone curve I like both they're both like good tools to know you know to have make the most of the thing is we kind of it too um, this or that you know so I've got my scene here I got my scene you know um, now this is where we're at okay so we're doing it I'm gonna go to view right, first of all first of all yeah, I'm gonna go to view and I'm gonna go to uh, onion skin mode no 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 hold on hold on hold on no turn it off I'm gonna save a copy of this in a lighter view. That's what I've got to do. I forgot what I was doing. Just so we can see what the fuck we're doing, right? Go to OK. Now from here, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna draw a line, like which how they're gonna fight, basically. All I'm gonna do, right? All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a red circle, just so we know. Well, I'll do a black circle, a really big strong black circle. They're fighting in this area, okay, the two guys. You know. Right. And they're gonna basically I'm gonna make it like a yin yang, fuck it. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. And they're basically gonna be moving along that to fight and they're gonna move around. So I'll even do marks for the feet. The feet are going to be here. He's going to be like literally tippy toeing across it. And I don't even know how they're going to fight yet. These marks represent the feet. I'm just going to put a load of feet. A two, 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 two. I think both guys got two feet, right? Two, 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 two. Two, two. And then they're going to start moving around here. Two. Oh, two, two, two. Two, two, two. two. Two, two, two. Hang on. Is that right? Two, 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 two. Um, two. He's going to come straight off of that. And the other one's going to be over here. So that is a crazy method we're going to follow with that and I'm going to turn that hold on <laughs> just kind of messed that up and I know but still hold on hold on yeah I kind of messed that up but no I still haven't really because like okay we only need the to see the the, the the where they're stepping that's all we need to see okay so let's go with that I'm going to do with that okay be walking around that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that main one out just for now okay I'll save it just anywhere as, a, as a, an image PNG the, the main image we've got you know okay on the desktop and uh, let's save it now okay save that we don't need this one for now okay um, you'll see what I mean in a moment I'm going to go straight in there and do the animation okay so go to project uh, go to save as shit go to save as pro save project so save as bomb bomb save it as a mp so, you know um, fire alpaca basically you know um, MDP they give it for the, for the um, format. Again, I'm going to just again though for this. Uh, yeah, so view. Okay, let's go. Okay, go to view. Onion skin mode. Make a new layer. Immediately that goes faint. See. So what you want to do is um, 
go to view and turn always display the first frame but you still want to turn it down a bit opacity wise so you can see what you're doing so now we're going to start so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you first of all how we do it okay oh. so I'd have my character there like we did already in the last one and the basic thing I'd usually do is I'd do like a circle body like that one and I'd imagine that the spine's here his head's here, he's facing the other way so he can't see the face one leg's here, a like triangle here, and then a line here or another like small triangle like join on okay it's not a round body, when you do the real picture you'd like longify it like that and make a body see but we're just doing that for now, it's like a ball with legs you can do stick stick hands like that or stick legs the same thing so when I'm doing this I'll just imagine where the hip is on this side like the hips the shoulders see here see the shoulders will be here the hips will be here see you have like a point see each here see and you have the spine here see what I'm saying and they've got elbows yeah but you just curve them and that you know and what I do is I just do like the lines here his legs bent and his foot will be here see like you see the back of his foot so you wouldn't see much just like a circle like that but what I do is is I do it like a triangle let's say coming from his arse there and there's like stronger thighs you see that would be there and I just do it see and his shoulder would be here so you wouldn't see the other arm the other arm would be behind but I'd still draw it in so we know where we are and do the real art you wouldn't need to the arms I'll do the arms like this you can do a line you can do a circle there and a line, you can do another muscle there or, or you can do the whole thing with the of the whole bicep and that I'm not even the best at doing this but the line there on the muscle of the arm that goes down, you've got the elbow bit, I'm not even great at doing it and you'd work it in, see but it's too much, I'm not even great at doing what I'm doing you know, but I'm just saying when I do it like the person standing there, see I'll do it like that, see like a little triangle there again the same with the legs and I'll do another like triangle there, see see what I'm saying and then you can make them bigger and strong if you want to do arms later on, so I'm saying. But if you don't want to do that, you just like, you just go in and do that and then just do the stick arms, you see. So what I'm doing is, I'm going in. This guy's going to be standing, I've got to imagine now where his body is, so his, his legs there bent. Seems to be to me, it's a triangle type thing. Body there, he's smaller because he's further away, you can see the face. For the back there, I'm arching above, see, but usually for the face, You'd have it like behind the um, head, so like here, see see how that is, if you can see what I'm talking about. See the back view of the back there and then the face on this side. So you'd have like a face on this side, see. The line, you'd have a cross usually, so you'd have like a, a straight with the noses and then the line for the eyes. And they're not circles always, you'd make like a pointy chin there, make it longer and do the rest of it as you come in. Now with the arms, when on the front angle is another thing, so that there. Um, I could have his hands like this, see, you have to imagine, so, let's just talk about that, see, I'd have like circles I guess, see, I'd have it like that, so, it's not going to be a long line, it's not going to be a long line like, because if his shoulders are there, and his body's like that, his spine, he's facing us, he's not on the side, is he? But even if he was, even if his body was there and his spine was there, it's twisted now. The socket where his elbow, his elbow would be, you see what I'm saying? His arm's not going over this side. His arm's not going over that side. His arm's kind of facing us. So it wouldn't be a long piece and another long piece. Or, or just here and in the hand. It wouldn't be like that. What you're going to have is you're going to have a circle followed by another circle and then another circle is what I'd do. Or a, kind of like a block like that, something. Because you're seeing the, f the front of it, see? So, and I'll do like, a, like little sketches like that, but you just try and imagine where the pieces are, you see. Now, I've been practicing my sketching recently, so, you know, it's a bit different with me. I'll be like doing it a certain way. See, that's not the best, but you see what I'm saying? But I'd imagine it like this, a piece, you see, a block, you see, on the end of a, of a tube or whatever. And, and then the fingers will be here, whatever. I'm just, I'm just trying to work it my own way, you see what I'm trying to say. But okay, we're going to have this here, okay, so you like that, okay, so there's the hand. You know, and when you zoom out, you get the idea. Um, the other hand, again, you might be like 
you could be up here in front see but the same thing you know that circle there see you're not going to draw it hanging right out like a long thing okay jimmy yeah. um and for the feet again like little triangle type things i've been looking at as i say i've been doing that as well recently a lot of people do it that way going on another layer there see now so he's going to step there he's going to be here now we're going to do him like in the position see so i'm going to do that you see what i'm trying to say let's have it like he's just throwing a punch okay he's just throwing a punch then you see how rough i'm doing it now see um you just step in there so the other guy is going to be about over here see i know i've kind of like roughed it up a bit now but you can't really see him he's behind there you see so he's stepping out and next in the next frame you know it could be there you can see how i'm getting lazy with the with the frames now right but I can make him here now see just working with these triangles and stuff see the hands will be there okay um whatever it's going to be see and it don't have to be exact but you know work it out as you have you can and um see this could be here maybe i'm gonna think it's gonna think about the perspective the fighting moves and everything you know it's like it's a lot to think about but okay that's gonna be there something like that okay he's looking in this direction um his arms here this arm maybe here i don't know why we're just doing it to make it look okay see Right there, come on. So we got our movement, see, boom, boom. Obviously, that doesn't look too good, but you know. But somehow they've moved around. But you know, it basically works the same way as you do it with the um, like the other one I just showed you. So what I'm going to do actually right now is I'm not even going to keep this because it's really rough. I'm just going to show you. Some, I'm just going to show you some sketching. But we've got this little scene of a. Of a you know a subway there i was going to have them moving around fighting but what i'm going to do now is you, you take patience and put more time in to do something like that but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you some shading i'll show you I'll show you some sketching how i'd work it see how you'd make them look more like characters i'm not going to do the best art but i'm going to show you how okay so this is what i would usually do if it was me i would do it like this okay if it was me making it i'd do something like this and it could be anything, it could be someone, a character sitting, drinking some tea, it could be a character reading a book, walking, dancing, whatever you want to do. You know, running, okay, so I'm going to go here, I'm going to do that, I'm going to go on another frame. And what is this all about, you know? It's like, um, so I'd, in my mind I'm thinking I'd have like, give a head like this. No matter how you do the face, like that, like that, say like that obviously if you've got a ball that's the horizontal line for the eyes and that's the center if that was on the other side here it means he's looking over there if that's on this side he's looking more over there right the same as if this is here he's looking up see if that's there and then that's there he's looking down in this direction right but not only that though if you look at this like that could be an actual head so you can have eyes here a nose here and someone's head could just be like that. He could just be looking like that, not looking down, but you could do the mouth there, whatever. He might just look like that. You know, he's just like some weird guy. You could have that, see? You know, it could be like a funny thing. You could have the eyes really big, or the eyes really small here. A big nose, or a little nose. It doesn't matter like if it's like really cartoony stuff square looking head see or if they are um, realistic like people still the same thing you like work different kind of face shapes from it you know now what I'm going to do is from here I'm going to show you like when you do it okay also you can do a stick figure obviously like that or with joints right and feet or hands you circles it if you want your circles for the joints 
here, here, you could put a body like that, things like that, if you want to do that. You could start doing pieces, you could do tubes, like people do tubes for parts of the body, like that, a tube, connect, connect to another tube, so there, a block for the body in the middle, lines to show muscles, whatever, and things like that, you can do a block for the head, work in blocks if you wanted to, so you could do things like that, it looks like a robot now, well you've got a nose there. I uh, think like that is different ways you can do figures, right? Um, and then circle for the body or a ball, like I've been doing various shapes. Again, for things like the hip, the thing like here, you've got like the shoulders, you've got a ball there if you want to do it or not, it's up to you. This could be here, quite a short body there. See, I can do a circle for the pelvis area or a block or any kind of shape. Again, lines, and then from these points here are where the hips come. You can have long thighs like that, and little short, what do you call it, bottoms here. Triangle for the foot if you want to do it that way, here, a shape like this. Uh, here you can do a circle for the hands if you want to do it that way. Uh, maybe he's just going shopping, you know, whatever he's doing, you know what I mean? He's, he's there shopping, and you can just see these shapes coming together. And he's just shopping there and the shopping in the place, motherfucker. Turn the opacity down, go to the next layer, you know. Straight away, you can start doing your funky characters and stuff. So, let's say, for example, I've got my you know, face, let's say I've got a face there, very thin, light brush there. You know. The ear could be here, see the ear. The nose could be here. It's a bit of a shape on the face there, the in the eyes go cheek down here for the chin and then come up to here, to the jawbone. The eyes could be about here. Work out the face. Work out the top of the, where the hair meets the forehead here, see? Uh, the back of the head like there, around. The, the hair's going to be on the outside of that as well, but that's there. And then the neck, how that connects into it, see? Like a tube, where it goes in there, and the shoulder bones and this and that, see? And then you just work it gradually. So I go on another layer. Now you can always flip it if you want a different view, easy to see too. But, you know, okay. So if I'm doing my character, on this layer now, a new layer proper, see, I could literally follow this. I could literally follow this to, to the, for the most part. And I'm just going to do a, a man here, cartoony looking man, fair enough, okay. It's like that, maybe. You know, I'm just going to make it not too much of a big head, but I'm going to not follow it totally, but give him a hat there, see. A bit of hair still on him. This guy, you know, you can always do this too. You can always resize things like this if you need to turn, see, or resize and try different things. I love digital, it's what you can do with digital, see. Um, go in, give him one of those, um, give him a hoodie, I don't know, you know, and just follow that, see. Um, you know, he's here, he might have his sleeves rolled up, maybe strings there. You got the idea right? Oh it's quite a small little top isn't it? I forgot quite you've got long thighs hasn't it? So okay we've got the hands holding this thing here. She's going kind of shopping right. This is a really rough picture I know I'm just showing you see long thighs go here see just for the sake of just nothing just just for creation that's all this for it's like experimentation just showing you like how you can come up with different Look, see, and you, if you, you know, if you're doing better stuff, you would do better stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you sort of for rough here, just to show you. See, you could do that. Spend more time on it and do a nice drawing. You know, put all the things you want to have in this um, shopping trolley. You know, do some more. You know, just do it. A wheel there, whatever. I'm doing it really rough now just to show you, but you see what I'm saying, yeah? And you draw it all in. Get rid of get rid of the back layer, just delete the back one, and then you're just left with that, you know. And there's your guy going shopping. You could like do really proper like good art, you can do like really better stuff, you know, make it stand out and do some good detailed stuff. But you know, yeah, doing the um, different shapes and stuff can be good fun. Lighting like this. Again, circles, triangles, things like that, you know. 
knowing the muscle work, knowing the gym, so that's the body to go, things like that. So, a guy, yeah, the hips, the, the triangles there. You know, I could do anything. I could do sit here, triangles there, see this, this coming in, do the feet, okay. And this guy could be anywhere. So again, and then go inside that circle and refine it to like a smaller head shape if you want. You know, and then go in there like that and just go on another layer. See, another layer. Um, you know, and then if you want to do it, like if you want to get it a bit easy, just go in there, cut that out. Go to edit, crop, if you want to just work on that area. Um, you know, go on another layer there. Turn that one down a bit. Bam, bam. You know, and this could be anyone. This could be absolutely, I'll show you who this could be right now. I could draw this in a bit nicely if I want to. Who do you think this is? Who do you think this is? Someone I don't usually draw a lot. It's not even one of my characters, but... It's my first ever attempt at trying to draw this guy. But I don't know if you know who this is already. Maybe you can kind of guess that's not a hoodie, by the way. You know, I'm gonna have him pretty strong as well. I'm gonna have him strong, okay. I could be the next comic artist. <laughs> I don't know. Muscles. He's a strong guy. Muscles here. Chest. His body seems to be slightly on the side. Hang on. Okay, so have it like that. It's okay, he's still muscly, you know. I think from here we're going to have to like make it slightly bigger. Just going to transform it or just affect the top layer. Don't worry. Bigger, okay. So got that. Okay, good. I think you can kind of guess who it is by now by his pants. Damn it. Some muscles in there. Six pack, or whatever is going to be here. Ah, not too much. It's a bit too much of an over done thing there. Take the, the muscles here. Knees, okay. The calves there. I think they're boots on the their boots. I think you can kind of guess who this is already, right? Sorry, the foots. I know the foot's kind of out of frame there. That's why I was just trying to fit that in. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so this is here. As I say, I'm not the best at doing the human figure. I mean, you can see I have a few of them miss ups already, you know. But I'm doing what I can. Kind of rough picture but still you know you get the idea, right? Ah, I think I'm gonna like do that on the other side. See this is what I love about digital art. With digital art you can work on the other side, flip it on the other side. I mean you mess around with mirrors and stuff if you want to do that, you know. But like them. Damn. damn. Trying to work stuff in, see. <laughs> Can't believe I'm spending this much time on a damn leg here, yeah, rough sketch, you know. Yeah, yeah, I seem to be like better at drawing something on the other side, see. So, can flip it over, flip it over, and then go back. It's only the view, but it doesn't matter though, anyways, either way. I'm going to do that as a that the other arm seems to be a little bit more back as opposed to this one but it doesn't matter we can have it like that you know have it like that it doesn't look perfect I know big cape you probably know who this is by now okay and then here we'll have the iconic S shape and that's right it's Superman okay I know I can't even draw that S properly with the perfect S how it's supposed to look but you know I get the idea okay now what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna delete that back layer which we don't need anymore that ugly thing okay which we used here I'm gonna just 
I'm not even going to move him. I was going to move him into position, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to cut him out again here. Bang, okay, I'm going to go in. You can do a much cleaner one if you want a much better image. Put him down there, boom, black for the hair. I'm just going to start colouring him in. Heck it. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go for red. I'm going to go for the red. Let's go for this, man. It's epic. Or oh, what? Superman. Superman here, man. I'm going to go a little. Be careful. I'm just going to lazily cut in a few reds here. Damn it. Uh, what does he have? Yellow boots, red pants, yellow boots, blue blue top colour that all in blue first and then we're going to co cover with um, yellow in a moment okay so I'll do I'll do the yellow here though Ooh, excuse me we've got Superman I never imagined I'll be drawing Superman today so we're going to go on another layer here very quickly I forgot if we have any red or not in that in the actual do you have any red or not in the actual um, S? I've totally forgotten now. Ah, I'll go to colour. Oh, no, I'll go to overlay, that's right. That was divide. No, I'll go to colour. That's the one. Try out the different blending modes and you'll see which one works better. I think it's like red and yellow, isn't it? I totally forgot. I think it's you've red here. And then is it black or yellow? I can't remember. So I'm going to go for a dark, really dark red. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through another layer and just go to multiply. That's what I'll do. Make it really faint. Well, at least we can we know that's Superman, you know. <laughs> Let me fix that up a bit. Merge the layers just quickly. Merge all. Oh, we've got to do the colour on top of his arms, his hands now. So I'm going to go to colour his skin, obviously. I'm not going to colour the eyes because we didn't bother with that. Hello, okay. I mean, I've got a picture of Superman, it's the first one I've ever done in my life. I can go over the black because it won't affect that. I'm going to merge those down. I'm going to cut out the background. I am going to do that. I'm going to cut out the background here. Okay. Go to select, go to uh, highlight outside, click to that off. Uh, go to um, deselect. Uh, make a duplicate of this guy. One day I'll do a really, really good picture of, of him. And as a, I made a darker duplicate on top as I usually do, but we're going to go for some like still shading rather than soft shading. Go with uh, the full, full opacity, full strength eraser, hard edge eraser. I'm just going to start, you know, art, doing all that epic stuff. The good thing I like is sometimes a simple picture like this you can still make like look okay, you know. And if you work with those stick figures and you get used to doing them. You can like do better, you know, better images of what I've learned. So working areas in here, you know, working different areas in to like draw in. If it's a little bit too too bright behind there, but you do want a, um, a contrast. But I'm, I'm going to make it a little bit. In a moment, I'm just going to uh, adjust certain things. You'll see what I mean. Okay, um, certain areas. I'll bring this one slightly down. See, <laughs> Superman. Okay, I'm going to merge those down together. Hold on. Okay, uh, okay, we're recording, yeah. So we're doing some different art and stuff. I'm going to duplicate this one. I'm going to go to Gaussian Blur. Oh, no, hang on. Make this one. Um, I'm going to play with the tone curve. I don't know why I just want to do it. Tone curve. I, don't know, I just wanted to do that. Now I'm going to go with a soft eraser. I'm just going to do it. I've been messing around with these different effects recently. Soft eraser. Let's go and do it. See, and then go over certain areas. It just gives it that final. I don't know. That final ep epicness. Certain areas here. Same. Merge those down. Okay, um, I was gonna like draw a cityscape in the background. I will do that. I'm gonna do that. Let's do it. I'm gonna go to transform. 
yeah, even though it's on like oh, excuse me even though it's on um, portrait mode as such is not you know oh hold on even merge those down even though it's not landscape mode, um, view You could do a whole comic about Superman, but I can't be bothered with that. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is, okay, I'm going to shrink him down. And I'm going to make it look like we were looking up at him, sort of thing. Kind of thing, you know. That's just too over the top, that is. I'm going to go cancel. Let's just shrink him down. Bring him down. I can't see the feet there, I can't because I'll give that away. Now we're going to do this a little bit. And also the cape as well, we need to have it on the side here. Okay, fair enough. I think what we will do is we can cut this off here. Okay. It's a fun little Superman image. Um, what I can do is you can do extra things like cut part of the area, don't worry too much here and just like deform stuff like a little bit like that, see and like things like that, change it uh, if you want to do that, it looks a bit better maybe um, I'm going to go in, choose a bit of that dark choose a bit of that dark in here start painting up, fix that muscle a little bit here that's alright, we're going to leave it like that though. I'm going to go to the back and there'll be a behind and I'm going to add a sky, a simple sky by having a blue and white gradient, slightly different, much brighter than his top obviously. I think I have a bright yellow as well. Um, gradient, go. Something like that. Um, something like that. Um, on top of that I'm going to do a cityscape and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for building shapes. Um, I'll go for like a light grey like right, you know and then on top of that we'll do another with darker ones okay that really is giving the Superman theme see merge those down uh, make them more fainter and then make a darker version and then well make it darker and then go with an um, eraser, a soft eraser and just start I'm just going to do that, just start um, gradually um, just start erasing certain areas hold on, um, hmm. no I think I'm going to have to cut parts out, that's what I'm going to have to do yeah, that's all, oh, I think I've done this wrong yeah, I should have left them on full opacity first, yeah that's it, then start cutting pieces out right layer obviously boom okay ah yeah I should have done it like I shouldn't have merged these two because they're like first I should have done, I should have waited a bit before I merged them another thing I could do could have done is like I could have put um, you know um, I could have put like little windows like black and white windows still got the option in a moment hold on I'll show you something So we've got this here, a little bit, a tiny bit like a kind of 3D-ness about it, you see. Merge those down. Oh, I know what I'm going to do, it's like an easy way. Uh, go to a blur, filter, Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur, whatever. More blurry, they're far away. Then I'm going to put them a bit more see-through like that. See, in the sun. Then I'm going to go to... Um, I'm going to go here on top on the next layer at very low opacity with a black pen and turn on this grid up top here um, the top here, third one at the top here straight line um, ruler thing you'll see what I mean and I'm going to just go across here and do a few, I'm going to just go straight across the page and I'll just erase the areas where there's nothing and they're supposed to be windows and it's okay because when I go um, you know, and it's okay, it really is because there's um, so less now I'm going to go vertically now with the eraser version of that so you just cut things off, you know, but I'm going to say because it's like, it's okay because it's 
bits or less of it. So please excuse me for getting distracted here talking. Um, okay, so we're doing that. Turn it off now, the ruler thing. Go to a soft eraser, very light opacity. Start erasing certain areas, make it a bit more faded, blurry, whatever. Yeah. Just have that, turn down the opacity even more. Duplicate the layer, move that across a little bit to get some more windows over here. Edit, deselect, uh, go to the eraser again if you want to. Click a few things, turn the opacity of that up a little bit if you want. Okay, um, turn off him for a minute and then merge those layers down once it's looking okay. I mean, you know, some parts are wrong obviously because we were painting behind him, don't forget, wasn't we? You know, it's okay, clean up a few areas. A lot of that's not going to be seen because it's behind him, as I say, you know. And we're going to merge those layers, okay. Merge all, put him in front. Superman. Uh, we're going to maybe bump this up a bit levels wise, okay. Put him on top, go on top on a new layer, okay. And then I'm just going to go with like a. Um, I'm going to go with a. Um, a red pen I'm going to go with this thick and thin one, I like this I'm just going to write Superman Superman, ok I'm going to go onto a new layer and go to clipping and I'm going to choose white I'm just going to go in a little bit a few lines I know it doesn't really look too good, it doesn't look too good actually. I was thinking to do something but it wasn't, it's not working too well but uh, we're just going to have it like that almost looks like that fucking what they put in a hot dog or something but yeah, okay, that's ok, I like that maybe like that I'm going to merge that down, make it ever be slightly um, darker maybe, hang on ok darker and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go behind it with the spray on a white spray um, Low opacity, glow, hard, um, light, and just start pasting some in carefully. Okay. Glow, like, you know. You know, here. Like Super AC. And then him as well, obviously. Ah, careful. I was thinking to do it behind him, but I made a mistake, I forgot. So I just put a bit of mist here. You know, here. I'm going to merge that all down now. There's one layer. Go to contrast or levels, you know, play with that a little bit more. Nice and colourful. Go on top on another layer, add a red and a yellow gradient on a very light fade with either overlay colour, add colour um, or um, multiply or colour. Well, let's check it out on another layer. Multiply is probably okay colour I think, let's go to multiply here yeah. multiply and then put it slightly lower opacity so we're looking through it, a little tad of that colour there now we're going to go to tone curve play with that a little bit maybe and then the filter uh, so filter levels again contrast and turn that right up there I think that will be enough for our Superman picture oh excuse me, uh, file save as Thanks for watching this picture, uh, this video today. We've looked at animation, we looked at sketching figures, and we looked at a Superman picture. <laughs> okay, so let's just look at that. Okay, uh, there's the final Superman picture. It's not the best, obviously. It's like kind of cartoony and stuff, but there's your Superman. <laughs> and uh, if I move him over right here, that's where he's going to be. He's waiting to save some motherfuckers who can't you can't save the old goddamn ass. Do, 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 do. Okay, so it's all the imagination, you know. It's all about the imagination. If you want to see Batman fighting Superman, let me know. Only joking. <laughs> Should do, but I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, thanks so much for watching this. As I say, and uh, I'll see you again very soon. Thanks a lot. Any ideas or any questions or anything, any questions you want to ask me or anything, anything you want to know, let me know, okay? Thanks for watching all these videos. It means a lot.
hope you enjoy my new cartoons good quality ones on the way animation and games and stuff I've been making a game as I say I've got this fast world game coming up for the PC and also um, as I say a lot of animation cartoons coming up as well okay thanks for watching take care now